Hi guys, my name's Aaron. Um, I'm doing another video today on how to install a real VNC server for OpenSUSE, but it's an ARM 64-bit version. Um, now, Debian, uh, well, real VNC themselves only make a Debian version of this program, as you can see here, for Raspberry Pi. Um, I've got a Raspberry Pi for 8 gig, which I've been playing around with and trying different programs and um, they've got a the official real VNC only create a 32-bit version as you can see here but they don't do a 64-bit version now Raspberry Pi themselves the foundation have created a, a ARM 64-bit version of it which is here so I've used this as the base to get a, a, a working version on various platforms. Um, as you can see here, I've got one for Manjaro, for a vanilla Arch Linux ARM 64-bit, Fedora and OpenSUSE. Now Manjaro was by far the easiest because they've got all lib, the Raspberry Pi firmware lib files installed by default in the user lib directories. A vanilla Arch ARM doesn't, so it needs a bit more back-end work to get to work. Fedora was quite straightforward um, and this one is OpenSUSE, which was a bit more involved. Um, there's some known issues, which I'll go through later, um, which everyone needs to know about. But it does work, and I'm quite happy with the results. Um, so let's get into it. I'm using the terminal. I'm SSHing into my Raspberry Pi, as you can see here. This is just a, def a default install of Tumbleweed. As I said, 64-bit version, nothing flash, stock standard install. I've created a script um, which installs it all. I may do a binary at some point. I've done a binary for my Arch-based versions, for Manjaro and a vanilla Arch version. But uh, I'm not as experienced with the uh, RPM binary base yet to do a, a binary package. Again, I might... If I get time, I'll work on getting a binary done in RPM for these. But for the time being, the uh, install script I've created to install a real, real VNC server should suffice. So I've SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi, which you can see here. And I've got the instructions here on what to do. I we might make these like this to make it a bit easier. Right. So first you've got to install uh, git, now it's not installed as a default uh, package with OpenSUSE. So we use the zipper to install git, with sudo of course, and your password, oops sorry, that's right, that's one, and it will go away and install git. So yes, to install all that. I originally used OpenSUSE when I first got into Linux back in the 90s um, on an old Dell Optiplex and it was my first foray into the Linux ecosystem and I quite enjoyed OpenSUSE. Oh, their Yast configuration tools um, I still like today. Um, I'm very much an Arch person now though. I love the Arch concept and the way Arch has been developed over the years. But it was fun to get back into open source because I hadn't used it for quite some time. And when I got my Raspberry Pis, you know, I, it obviously defaults with a Debian type base with the Raspberry and OPS. But um, yeah, installing Fedora and uh, Fedora. How good's Fedora getting now? Um, like, if you want a working GNOME 40 distro out of the box, Fedora is the way to go at the moment. That's for sure. Anyway, so that's done. So now we need to clone it. So I'm in my, oops, I'm in my home directory here. That will do. So as you can see here, we clone my Git repository. So let's do that. We'll just copy and paste that over. And it copies them over. So if we do an ls, you'll see there's the 
repository there, so let's cd into that and do an ls. So there's the files which are needed, which my script uses. These control um, tar files are the same ones that are in the Debian package. And it's got some, I've just altered the install scripts, since most of these are Perl based anyway. Um, I've also included the Pi firmware lib files, which aren't included by default. Um, these will be copied into eventually the lib60, user lib64 directory. And again, the, the various distros put their lib directories in various places, like Fedora's is, is user lib64, same with OpenSUSE. Obviously, Arch just do user lib. Um, they're all over the shop. But um, once, we're done, once they're in the right place, everything works. Right, so now we will run the install script. Now, you don't need to run the install script with sudo or root. Uh, it will ask you for the sudo password in a moment. The reason for this is because when I first installed this, and it all got installed perfectly well, however, I couldn't access real VNC with my normal Linux username and password. It just kept saying access denied. I could log in as root, but um, funny and normally with open with um, OpenSUSE is that it doesn't add the non-root users to its allow list. Um, this seems to be, I tried this on the PC 64-bit version as well with RealVNC and the same thing happens. So this seems to be something um, specific to OpenSUSE is why that happens because it doesn't happen in Fedora. I don't need to do any of this for Fedora. So. I think it's got something to do with the PAM authentication modules and their location because their location in OpenSource is different to Fedora. And even if I try specifying them manually in the uh, VNC init config uh, script, it doesn't seem to make any difference. So I've just got this workaround in my store script which will add your current user to the wheel group. Now, not ideal, however, um, I think it's the best solution, considering this is going to just be for personal use. Um, there are other ways around it. I've included here. Um, you could go in and, and add the user manually, and that works perfectly well. Or you could just use a VNC password login rather than Unix authentication in the VLC option. So um, there are other workarounds to get it to work, but I wanted it to work out of the box with the script. So that's why it will add your current Linux logged in username to wheel. So make sure you're just logged in your Raspberry Pi device. Make sure you're logged in as your normal user. Don't log in as root. So let's uh, actually we'll do a chmod on the install.sh. Right. So we'll clear the screen. Let's do install.sh and it'll start the install. That's where you put in your password. Here's a mod. What have I done here? Hang on a moment. Ah, yes, that's right. Yes, now this is another thing I found. So on a default installation of the ARM 64-bit version of OpenSUSE, the wheel group is not installed by default. So you need to go and install the wheel package. So, I can't remember what it's called. So if we do a sudo zip se for search wheel, it should show us a wheel there, system group wheel. You have this has to be installed. That's right. So let's go and install that. Group wheel. Now I don't know if you can use the ISO, the ARM 64 bit ISO install the whole thing from scratch, it, it may install the wheel package. If it doesn't, 
I know the snapshot because I'm using the, the pre-compiled snapshot for the ARM which OpenSUSE do. So obviously it doesn't on the snapshots. So I, whether it does it on a normal install of the ISO, I'd have to try it. But now, actually what I'll do, I'll update the script so that it'll install the that system package um, I think that's the best way forward so that you don't have to do this. Right, so let's try this again. Uh, what do we want? Install. There we go. So now it's installing. To give you a look at what the install script does, defines your current username, then it gets added to your wheel group. Um, this row here is about getting the modules loaded. Now again, this isn't um, on a default installation, none of this happens, so this all has to be included in the install script. These are just module files which are needed, um, which the Raspberry Pi users and real VNC needs. Uh, to run, so it then extracts the, the data.tar.xz archive into their relative directories. This uninstalls the installation script, which installs the VNC initial configurations, which sets it all up. And I've also included it to start the actual service D, whereas on a normal installation you'd have to do that yourself. But I've included that's so where it starts it straight from scratch. So it's all been installed. So let's uh, let's check the actual status, and we'll copy that over. Let's make sure it's started. Oops, what have I done here? Oops, if I can spell right. All right, she's running. So that should be fine now. So that's all been installed. So now we. Are, on OpenSUSE, AR 64-bit version, we have a running copy of real VNC server. So now I'll try to connect to it through my VNC viewer. The IP, that's my IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Let's click on that. You say continue. Username. Now I'm using the normal login details here. So let's see if this uh, works. It does! We're in, and here is OpenSUSE using real VNC server. Who would have thought? Let's go to NeoFetch. What do we got here? Everything works. Copy and paste works. The reason I did this as well is OpenSUSE comes with the real VNC, uh, well, the type VNC ecosystem by default and the VNC modules built in with X11. However, you don't get the functionality like copy paste doesn't work, other more ex advanced features that real VNC offer don't work either. So I much prefer the, 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 the commercial real version of real VNC server. So that's the, that's the main reason I did it. And that's the reason also I've, I've done the other versions as well of Real VNC on the other architectures like Fedora, Arch Linux, and Manjaro. Um, and yeah, I've created binaries for the Manjaro and Arch Linux, as you can see here. Um, but I might do that, I might release an RPM binary at some point once I have a bit more experience with the RPM ecosystem. But uh, yeah, there's lots of trial and error to get this to work on OpenSUSE. Um, well worth it though. And uh, even though, yeah, it's got some issues to work around in terms of a default installation, I, I think it's they're very acceptable um, to get to get it to work, and to get it to work out of the box, like installing the script, it will all do it. So yeah, I'll update the script so that it it installs that system package uh, by default, so you won't have the same issue there. So yeah, that's where I'll, yeah, the system group will. So I'll install that to the package. So we might do that now. Um, 
as a make it a a, a, a prerequisite. Um, System group wheel. So yeah, all done. I'll do another video for Fedora to show you what it's like. But yeah, there's OpenSUSE working via real VNC on a AR64 platform on my Raspberry Pi. Right guys, enjoy. I'm out. See ya.